Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have an absolute banger of a bundle if you're into World War II assets. This one is the World War II military bundle. This one is for Unreal Engine, but as I have shown you many times in the past, you can use these in a variety of game engines. I'll have links down below showing you how you can use them in other engines. Uh, and we've got a variety of assets here all around a World War II theme. Some are locations. I'm going to show you some of these in action. Some of these are weapons, and some of these are tanks. And the tanks are perhaps the most impressive. First off, because I'm a big tank nerd, I've been playing World of Tanks for the last last decade, I think. Uh, and they're just really high quality. So let's jump in with a little bit of hands-on, then we'll come back to the bundle details itself. So this here is one of the tanks. This is an M4 Sherman. Uh, as you can see here, it looks uh, very good. Let's go take a quick dive around it. So everything is fully modeled, but where it gets really impressive with these assets uh, is that they're also fully game ready. And I mean fully game ready. Let's go ahead and check this guy out. So we're going to load up the controllable map like so. And... All right, give it a second to load in the textures. Okay, so here we are in our world. It is uh, pretty sparse. Let's go ahead and run this demo and you'll get an idea of just how configured these tanks are. So you see here, we have audio on them. Uh, we have full controls. You can navigate rotatable turrets, a uh, camera that spun into the ground somehow. Uh, but as you see here, it's everything you need to start creating a game. You've got uh, just impressive uh, amount of detail here. Again, fully rigged and ready to go in a game. You can see the controls are in the uh, small text there on the left-hand side. So you got control over the gun, the turret, transversible. There is a destroyed version of each tank. Uh, it is just an impressive bundle. And I think there's about five or six of the major World War II tanks in here. So this is one such asset. Let me just exit out of that demo and we will go see another one. So this one over here, uh, this is the... Um, German Panzer IV. This was actually, I believe, the most produced tank of World War II, uh, arguably the most successful tank of World War II, and it's the exact same deal. There is a fully rigged version of it. Uh, actually, if you check out this particular demo, so let's switch on over to the playable version. So it just gives you an idea. These aren't just 3D models. These are full-on ready to go. By the way, if you're not going to be using them uh, inside of Unreal Engine, that's not going to matter. Like, basically, they're just models for you. So if you import these into the Godot or something, uh, they're going to literally be just just models. So let's go here. We're going to go take a look and then I'm going to zoom in. By the way, there is full zoom. There is another tank and let's let's shoot them. So you see here, you even got destructibility there as well. Hit points, weapon stabilization, etc. So there is there is an impressive amount here beyond just tanks. Now, obviously, tanks are probably the star of the show, but we have other assets in this bundle. So, for example, uh, we do have uh, guns. There's an interesting thing with the guns, and I'll try and get your opinion on it later on. They've got a weird naming convention with the guns, and guns have always been an ongoing question of, um, you know, legality and copyright. Because uh, I believe this uh, th this is called a Stir, stir 5 fit. Why is my sensitivity so high. All right, let's zoom that back in. All right, so here you can see here, you've got um, the um, the gun over here. You've got a couple different mags for it. You've got a different, couple of different uh, shoulder stocks for it as well. So if you're looking for guns, there's a decent number in this particular pack. Some have their real life names. Some have um, contrived artificial names. And then we've got some environments as well. So here we can see this is the outpost map. So we'll just go look at one example of it. And this is actually pretty comprehensive. So if you're looking for some environments, it may be worth it alone for those as well. Again, they're very high quality. Let's just load this one up and we will go check it out. So here we can see it. Uh, this is, um, again, I believe it was called Outpost. And yeah. Oh, now I've got my sensitivity really low, so I can't move around. So you get an idea of everything you see here. Uh, there are multiple different map demos showcasing it. So we got radar systems here. Uh, we have bunkers, etc. So you've pretty much got everything here to create a turnkey game. It, it's pretty impressive. You've even got some uh, artillery shells going on over here, etc. Uh, so this is one of the environments included here. I don't know if I have anything else preloaded to demonstrate. So outpost, the gun, the tanks. No, so that's it for now. But there are multiple environments as well. So let's switch back over to the bundle and we'll go through it now. So once again, it is the World War II military bundle. If you do not know how Humble works, it's a collection of stuff, in this case, Unreal Engine assets. Uh, you decide how your money is allocated between Humble, Charity, the publisher, and if you so choose. Thank you so much if you do to help support Game from Scratch. It is organized into tiers. The highest dollar value tier is $25. The lowest dollar value tier is $1. Now, I should point out that this is a repeat from a previous uh, Yarway, uh, like a modern, 
modern uh, military bundle thing. The two military trailers appear to be repeats. But otherwise, uh, you can actually get that Sherman we just showed you uh, earlier on in the $1 tier, which is actually pretty cool. We jump up to the median tier here. You're getting a couple of more guns. Uh, so an Owen machine gun, uh, 10 unique messages, uh, mess, meshes. Uh, we got the Panzer IV we showed in action earlier on as well, and then a military trailer. This one may be a repeat from previous bundles as well. All of the tanks are new. I think all of the guns are new, but a couple of the uh, supporting things aren't. And then at the top tier, the $25 tier, that's where you start getting the assets or the environments we just looked at right there. Uh, for example, that was the outpost and bunker environment. There is also an environment here for a uh, modular 1940s abandoned office space and a abandoned Russian buildings. By the way, if any one of these we want to learn more about, just click it here uh, and then click the link and it will bring you to the Unreal Engine Marketplace store for it. Uh, and then we've got a variety of guns. Again, some of these are using their real name. Uh, and then this, I think, is a Webley, for example, but they called it a Web 44. Uh, this is an M19, I guess it's a 1919. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big gun guy, but here, a Bren is actually being called a Bren. But this is uh, not. So again, they're using fake names. But then here, the Thompson M1A1 is a real name. So I don't know why they kind of went, same with the Mosin Nagant, real name here. So I don't know if sometimes they went with fake names, sometimes they didn't. I don't understand it. Uh, anyways, we've got a couple of other tanks here too. We've got the uh, Soviet IS-2, uh, the German Tiger II here as well. Uh, we got, again, a, a variety more guns in this pack. Uh, and yeah, um, the trailers, I think, again, these two guys are repeats and possibly the military radios from uh, a previous bundle. But again, those are throw-ins, nothing I don't think anyone's going to be too, too excited about. If you're curious about how this works, each one of these is a redemption key on the Unreal Engine store. Uh, this is awesome because it means if you get updates, it's as if you purchased it directly from Epic Games, so you will continue to get updates. Uh, the downside is you're going to get a key for each asset. So what you're ultimately going to do is go over to the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So I've redeemed all of these. So what you'll find is it's just like you'd purchase them. So if I go here, for example, World War II, here's the Panzer IV, the Sherman, the Tiger II, the IS-2, etc., all available on the store. So the way it works is you go to the incredibly loved, everybody beloves it, uh, Epic Games Launcher. You go to the store tag over here. You wait seven and a half hours for it to load because <laughs> Epic Games Launcher. And then you click here. Uh, and then you wait again for a very long period of time because, again, Epic Games Launcher. And then you go here to redeem code. And you just paste your code in, redeem, paste your code in, redeem, and then so on and so forth. You do that for all of the assets, and then uh, you're there as if you had purchased them directly yourself. Now, I did hear that there was one asset, one of the firearms, maybe a direct download temporarily from the Humble website. Uh, it's just because of a, a snafu on the configuration side. Eventually, it will be available as a redemption key as well. But 99% of the content here. All the major stuff is available. I think the Webley might be the one gun that is not yet there, uh, but that is a temporarily flaw. So you may have to download that one uh, in the meantime from logging into the Humble Store. Uh, but yeah, that's it. So this is the uh, WW2 uh, military bundle, again, from Yarawa and Graybit uh, for Unreal Engine. But once again, check out down below. I do have links for how to actually um, open these things up in like Godot or Unity. Obviously, you're not going to get you know all of the programmability of it, but you can get these 3D models in pretty easily. So if you're using another engine, this could still be of interest to you. Again, a couple of environments, a variety of firearms, some really heavily configured controllable tanks that are literally drag and drop ready for your game. Uh, so if you're making, again, a World War II themed game, uh, this one is this one is an absolute no-brainer. If you're not doing a World War II game, you're mostly looking then at environments and guns, uh, which are a little bit on the timeless side. There could still be some value there. And you got to keep in mind, generally, one asset. Let's go check this one out as an example. So this one is uh, 50 bucks. So if you wanted a Thompson machine gun, you would have to pay 50 bucks for it, or you could just pay 30 bucks and get this whole bundle. So uh, definitely an interesting bundle in that regard, but very uh, on theme. So if you're not into the World War II or weapons at all, obviously nothing here for you. Uh, but if you are an Unreal Engine developer doing a World War II or a weapon-based game, this one is an absolute no-brainer. Uh, for everyone else, again, you can get it working in other environments. I mean, let me know what you think of the World War II military bundle of Yarrow of Greybit, etc. Uh, in the comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.